Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and kind of poorly prepared here, but anyway, um, once again, this is gonna be a video that's meant that's meant to cut off a lot, or that's meant to save me a lot of time and uh, working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog. Um, there's there's something I want to explain, but um, it's gonna be easier to just make a video than I have to type a mile long essay of what I want to say. So it's just gonna save me a lot of time making my blog. Um, but, but before I continue, I'm also going to have this music going in the background. Uh, it's called Warg, their Primal Breath album. So, that way, so it's not total, complete silence. I'll go ahead and fire that up. Oops, I forgot to sound test it, so. Here, just let me do this. I'll go, like, right in the middle. I'll stay close enough on that. Okay, so, uh, so one thing I'm gonna do, or here, let me go here. I'm gonna, I think I might have done this in one of my other videos. I don't, I, if I did, I don't remember to what extent. Um, but uh, this is a class system. It's one of the mechanics that this game has, Gems of War. Um, you know, and you can, as you can tell here. Whoops! Let's do, try that again. That it, there is uh, many different classes, to, many different classes to choose from. Um, some of them, are, some of. I think a lot of them, a lot of them, you have to complete the quest, the quest line in a particular kingdom. But, um, and recently, I was playing, uh, the Thief class, but I've recently switched over to Sentinel. But, uh, each class, I mean, each one has their own, has their own level, or I could probably, uh, let me pick another one. Where's Monk at? There he is. Like, I mean, each law, each class level increases your uh, your attack, your armor, your magic, and your life. So, and then um, each one, each class also has their own traits. Like in this case here, he's Sky Ancestry, he's immune to basically all things that mess with your, uh, mess with your mana, you got a chance to dodge skull damage. I don't really want to go into the basic mechanics, at least not at the moment, but you, you can kind of tell here, you got, each class has their own, has their own passive traits, and, uh, every time, and every time each class reaches a certain level milestone, so you got a little bit of Diablo 2 action here too. Although it's I wouldn't really call it much of a tree as it is just like talent level. So in that now that I think about it, it's more like World of Warcraft then. Kind of their their talent system. You know, you level them up and you get to choose between one of three. Like, if I was to here here, let me let me go to the class that I'm currently working on. Sentinel. See so, you know, I've already fully well, they got their traits. Um, you know, skull damage by half, by 40%. I call it half, just it's easier to say than 40%. So, you know, one in four chance to barrier a random ally, which means the one that's least likely to ever get damaged, like the one at the bottom. Same thing here. Uh, I've unlocked level one, eventually level five, then I'll get to choose one of three. Probably this one. Um, and then, oh, and Barrier, um, what Barrier is, is, uh, oh, how can I put it? In, um, in Final Fantasy XIV terms, I, I forget the name of the ability, but, um, it caught, the Warrior class has it, it reduces all, it reduces all damage to zero, I think that's what it is, it reduces all damage to zero or one. For six seconds, 
or something like that. Barrier kind of works like that same way, except it completely negates the next attack inflicted on you. So. But, uh, that... You know, and then... And I'll... I might explain more of this later on, but... That's 20% of your armor rating to any skull damage you might deal. Um, very valuable here, but there's another one. Nope. Yeah, very valuable here. Any kind of, you know, matching any kind of brown gems it gives you a barrier. Um, and then if, if and when I get to level 70, that's going to be a very long while off. Um, Then, um, you know, and then something like this, basically, dispel all enemies, which means it, it removes all their buffs, in which, they, this year, it's going to be dependent on the kind of content I'll be doing. Uh, if I'm going to be doing a lot of PvP, uh, fighting other, fighting, like, really powerful players, I'd probably use this, but you, you kind of get the idea. But this is how classes work. And I guess I can kind of explain the way experience works. Um, let me uh, take you to a battle. And this is probably the... This is the tried, or the tried and true method of, uh, getting XP diff Of getting XP quickly. Uh, this is, these are called Explore Missions. You choose which difficulty, so it works like Diablo, or Diablo 3. You can, you, know, you can pick your own torment level. Um, here. Then it consists of four, four sub-battles. A mini boss battle in which you'll get. And let me check something. Uh, my brain might have farted. Okay, it's up, it's up. You can see it. But as you can see down here, um, you know, completing all four sub battles and then the mini boss battle, you'll get three to six mist stones. These blue thing, the blue currency here, get a hundred of them. And you'll fight a mythic boss, beat that mythic boss, and you'll get a boss chest, which, which gets you like special badges and stuff. So, but anyway, okay, I'll set up. I need to turn that down a little bit. Okay. So, oops, my, uh, my controller shut off on me. Okay, and I'll guess to show you this other build that uh, a guy named DJ Screw showed me. It, it's, this is perfectly designed for uh, difficulty one, like super low tier stuff. You start off with this guy, he blows up eight green gems. this. Wrong one. Wrong one. There it is. Let me slow it down a little bit for you. And let me go ahead and do a restart on it. No, I don't. Alright, once again. Start with him. Blows up eight green gems. And then, usually, but not always, the green gems that you blow up will give this girl enough mana to cast her ability, Thorns. Uh, scatter damage is just damage that's evenly divided amongst the entire group. There you go. And then, um, I did kind of, I kind of explained this, uh, some time ago, I don't remember when, uh, but I found out recently, I think, I think with all PvE content, the drop rates are the same, you get the same, like, no matter which difficulty you do, drop, the rate at which you get drops are the same, um, the XP you get is the same no matter which difficulty you do. 
Ah, uh, soul, same thing. Trophy, same thing. Oh, okay. Which, yeah, I just... I look... When, um, in the guild I'm in, we have a quota. I mean, to be, to be fair, as long as you play consistently, you'll reach it. So... But, the big one... The big one here... You always get, in PvE content, you always get one XP. No matter what you do. So, that's why... You just do like the difficulty one stuff if you're actually trying to level a class. So, so second battle. ability. One shot the entire group every time. And, um, but like I said, um, the drops you get, the, the drop rate is going to be the same no matter which difficulty you do. So this is like a, I think that's like a tier three, a tier three trait stone. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and set the animation speed back to four. So game speed is gonna be at the max. So and one more. Or the mini boss battle. Ah! And there we are. So But otherwise, I just wanted to I just wanted to show that just Kind of a quickie deaky tutorial on that, on how on how it works and how to level up classes in this game. So, but oh, and I did forget to mention in PVE content you get one XP. In PVP content you get two XP. At least that's how I understand it. Uh, I might I might not be completely right on that, but that again it's it's been a while since I've done or no. It's been a while since uh, I learned how uh, XP works. So, you know, details might be a little hazy. But otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and see you all next time. Bye for now.